So we're finally inside the Boat Dwellers theme restaurant and I'm really excited because I've heard about this so much. So one of the really cool things about Hot Pot here is that when they serve you the live seafood, you get to steam it at the table, which means all the juices are preserved and fresh. And the best part, they will drip down to the bottom where a ceramic pot will collect all the juices and that's exactly where the congee is being cooked. So your congee will be soaked in all the aromatic juices from the fresh seafood. So let's have a look at what they have here. If you ask, they have the English menu, which has all the things they serve separately, but we're gonna go for the set menu, which unfortunately they only have in Chinese, but the waitresses are really nice. Even when they speak broken English, they will point out every single item so that you understand which dish is which, which is really nice of them. We're gonna go for the set C, which is around 700 Hong Kong dollars, which in Australian dollars is roughly 120 bucks at the moment, but you're gonna get a lot of seafood. We're gonna get things from South Africa, things from New Zealand, abalone, lobster, wagyu beef, vegetables, and best of all, the congee with chicken and crab soup. We have, oh great, it's in English, sesame paste, exo sauce. I have no idea what that is, I'll have to Google that. There are so many things, kohlrabi, green onion, garlic, fried garlic. Oh, fried garlic is really good. All right, I can't eat spicy, so I'm gonna try and a couple of these sauces. That's very thick. Whoa. That's the rice going in there, and the crab and the chicken. I think that's an old chicken because it has more flavor. That's crazy. So he's putting in, oh that's a three clams, that must be a three clams. So there's mussel clams and anadonta, whatever that is. I hope it's not badly English translated, so we're going to see what it tastes like in a sec. I can smell it, it smells like fresh seafood, like the sea. It feels like the beach, I get to eat it all. Oh, I'm excited, I don't know what to eat this with, but I'm excited. Oh, look at the rice cook underneath. I think that means eat. So I'm gonna let the juice drip into the congee. And I don't know where that came from, but look how big that is. Can you see? Huge. I don't know what to dip it in. I'm gonna try soy sauce. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. All right, I don't know which one I'm gonna eat first. I think I'm gonna work my way up from small to large, okay? So this looks like your regular pipi. Oh, it's so fresh. I don't think you even need the sauce. It's really sweet. Medium-sized clam. Oh, look at the juice. Mm, this is even sweeter. That one's really sweet. You don't need the sauce. That one is sweet, but it's pretty plain. You do need a sauce. Whoa, look at that. So, oh, the juice is so sweet. It's so good. Mm. You don't need the sauce for that one either. It's just so fresh. What they tell you is there's only one of each dish or a little bit, but that's plenty because we are like the first 
three out of 14 and I'm already feeling like it's abundance. Oh, I'm so excited about the congee and it's only one layer of sweet, sweet seafood so far. I wish you could smell this. And then she's gonna put the lid on. It's really cool. So she puts the time on every single dish. Apparently the razor clam takes three minutes to steam and when it beeps, they come back and open it up so it's always perfect timing. That's so clever. All I'm thinking about is the timer counting down. 40 seconds feels like forever because I can smell it. You know what? I'm on a seafood diet. I see food and I want to eat it. <laughs> that was terrible. 20 seconds. Razor clam from New Zealand. Whoa, look at that. So pretty. I'm gonna try the glass noodles. I love glass noodles. Top. It tastes like when you go to an Asian store and you have that really strong wok seafood stir fry and the noodles taste of the seafood. But it's just themed, it's so good. All right, I've never had a razor clam before. Look at all the wiggle <laughs> All right, first ever razor clam for me. Mm. Tastes between like a mussel and a squid. Mm. Oh, so good. That one, I can have 10 more. Chase lung clam. Thank you. Oh, you can see the juice bubbling. It looks really big. I don't know if it's going to be chewy because of its size. So there's a sauce on it. I have no idea what it is because they spoke Chinese. Oh, it's so hard. <laughs> oh, it's a bechamel sauce on it. Oh, it's so sweet. It's not chewy at all. And just to think that as you finish the clam, all the sweet, sweet seafood flavor is actually in there. So I'm like half satisfied and half craving to start eating that conch in there. Look, it's a Hong Kong mask. Whoa. That abalone green sauce, let's see what it tastes like. During that wonderful ride, which is below the steamer. Oh, my friend's getting steamy. Look at the crab and the juices from everything we've eaten so far. Okay, I'm not a big fan of abalone because sometimes if you don't cook it properly, it kind of come out rubbery and chewy. Firstly, you got to remove it from its shell. Oh, came off. Tastes like some of the they garlicky and basil -y. Kind of scary, this one. All right, here we go. Oh, that's pretty really soft. I really like the basil with it and the garlic. I can't do this, I can't eat. Jumbo stone oyster from USA. Oh, wow. Bye-bye, lobster. It's bigger than my hand. Is it? I'm kind of scared and excited. I don't like cooked oysters. I like my oysters fresh. But oh, this one's massive. Oh, I can smell it. It's really, really, really strong. Mm. Tastes like a mussel, but really sweet. I think it needs a bit of sauce. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. Look at that. Can you see it? It looks super soft. Mm, I don't want to lose the juice. Oh, it's so good. Mmm, let me try my sauce. Soy sauce, red wine vinegar, a dash of sesame oil and spring onion. Oh, it's so good. Look, I'm Dumbo. Whoa. Bye-bye, crab. <laughs> I'm try and get it off the skin. 
and because it's cooked so perfectly, it just comes off. Oh, look at that. Look at all the juices. Whoa. Okay, it's hot. Okay. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, it's so sweet. Mmm. So good. Oh, it's very juicy. The thing I like about lobster is it's like a giant corn, so you don't have to peel like a million corns. And it has this unique flavour. Mmm. Mmm. And there's that lingering thought that every flavour I'm tasting is going to be in that congee. Look, I'm getting a facial done. I think my skin feels softer just with sitting here. Whoa, look at that. Oh, look at all the juices. Thank you. Oh, that smells good. So, to eat a crab, you gotta have big hands and like. <laughs> nah. <laughs> no, I can't do it. <laughs> To eat a crab, get help. Oh. 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 Okay, cool. Thank you. All right, let's try that again. So. Sleep. I really want the whole thing out, but I can't. I'll try it again. Oh, thank you. So there's a pig. I'm gonna flick it on myself. Ooh. So not as pretty as I wanted it to be, but pretty good. Vertex green crab. Mmm. That's so good. And look at that. Oh, this is the sweetest bit. Mmm. That's so good. See this thing? That is so good. Mmm. Mmm, look at that meat. Mmm, so good. Oh, look at that. Oh, can you see that meat? Oh, it's so good. The Wagyu beef. Whoa, look at that. Look at the rendered fat. Oh, that is juicy. Look at the marbling. Oh, look at that. Can you see it in the light? Oh, that is some crazy marbling. Mmm, I love rendered fat. Oh, uh, I'm full, but I really want more. Just the creaminess from the rendered fat. It's so good. And it looks really hot. I'm gonna go for the little one. That is like the tiniest, cutest warlock I've ever seen. Oh, hot. That meat thing is really nice. I don't know what it is. But like the vegetable is juicy and the meat is salty, so. That's really well together. It makes you salivate, whatever that mint thing is. Oh, do you know what that is? That's like um, honeycomb cake. I have no idea what it is, but it's hard to eat. I think this is honeycomb cake, and it's called honeycomb because, can you see? They look like honeycomb layers. And the cake is in a tin as a base, and the tin is put in the oven first so that the tin gets really hot, 
and when you pour the mixture into the tin, the air bubbles go up and then you chuck it in the oven and then these air bubbles stay in that shape. So it's both spongy and chewy. All right, the long away the congee. And it's like, you know when you watch a movie and the ending has all the bits and pieces from the whole movie? Well, this is it, because it has all the juices from everything we've eaten today. Like, I've waited this for this so long. I think it took me two hours to go through everything else. It smells really good. It's really hot. Oh, oh my gosh. When you start biting into the rice, the seafood flavors like bang into your face. Oh, it's intense. It's like super creamy. The rice is super creamy. Pretty sure it's risotto rice. It's super creamy and the seafood flavor is oh, out of this world. Oh, oh it's so good. Oh, it's so creamy. And like, I can taste the clam, I can taste the crab. So we're back at the hotel and you can hear me a lot more clearly now. If you haven't already done so, please don't forget to support me by subscribing, liking and turning on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. And a big thank you for all of you that have subscribed. It's been really, really good to see the numbers grow and our community grow. Okay, see you next time.